Okay, one of the rules that will keep you on track with your food is you should never eat anything with high fructose corn syrup. Okay, that's a, sh a sweetener that we derive from corn. Okay, and the reason why is not because high fructose corn syrup is anything worse, excuse me, is anything worse than sugar. It impacts on your body in a similar way. The reason why is that high fructose corn syrup is not something you find in the kitchen. It's, it's a hallmark of an industrially processed food. Kraft, General Mills, Coca-Cola, they might use high fructose corn syrup, but your mum or your grandma certainly wouldn't. They cook in kitchens. These guys over here cook in factories. Another food rule is never eat anything your grandmother doesn't recognize as food, okay? Because she lived in a time when all foods were cooked in a kitchen. And that is where you want your food to be produced. And you might say, well, why? Why is it important to eat food cooked in a kitchen? Why can't I eat food that comes from a factory, a factory floor? It's just surely it's just a bigger ramped up version of the kitchen, okay? And to that, I'm gonna read you a little excerpt from a book that I read about processed food. And it started off asking the reader how you would go about making a typical Bakewell tart. And the answer is you would get, you know, raspberry jam, eggs, flour, milk, sugar, and you'd mash them together, some almonds if you want to be a bit spicy, and you'd get your Bakewell tart, okay? Then she read how they would make a Bakewell tart in a factory, in an industrial environment. And this I think is very telling. So this is what goes on in the mind of a food technologist when they're thinking about how to best produce a Bakewell tart. Okay. What alternative ingredients can we use to make a Bakewell tart style product? What costly ingredients can we do without? e.g. butter and raspberries. Can we cut the amount of butter that we use and yet boost the buttery flavor? What flavoring can we use to mask the flavors of the cheaper butter replacements? What sweeteners can we add so we don't need to use sugar, so we can justify a reduced calorie label? How many times can we use the pastry left over from the production run in subsequent ones? What antioxidants can we throw into the mix to prolong the tart's shelf life? Which enzyme can we add to keep the sponge layer moist for longer? Might we add a long life raspberry puree and gel mixture, artificially flavored, artificially colored? Of course. Can we coat the almonds in something that will keep them crunchy for weeks? Can we substitute starch, starch for a proportion of the flour to make it rise more? Would powdered rather than liquid egg stick less to the equipment? Can we use a modified protein to do away with eggs altogether? That is what goes on in the mind of an industrial food engineer. And my point today, when you're thinking about foods, why should I eat food that's made in the kitchen? Why should I avoid foods that's heavily processed? Think about that. That is one lonesome Bakewell tart. And every single heavily processed food is made with the same attitude, comes from the same spirit, the same ethos as that Bakewell tart. And that, is a scary proposition.